What makes you keep reading a book? Good characters, interesting premise, the pretty illustrations at the start of chapters. I mean, look at this. I wish all books did that. But all of those have something in common. The first chapter. If you're reading the first chapter of a book and it doesn't make you interested, why would you keep reading? So today we're reading the first chapters of books and giving them a star rating based on solely that. Just that. Now you may be wondering what gives me the right to judge books in this way. Nothing. Well, I mean, can we, uh, can we flip the camera? Yeah my right. I don't care if these are the best of the best writing or the worst of the worst Colleen Hoover we both laugh at our son's big balls writing, okay? If I'm hooked, I'm hooked. So what chapter do we start with? Before I tell you I'm going to apologize and make sure you know that it will be quick, I'll be fast, okay? It ends with us by Colleen Hoover. The movie's out right now, come on guys, it's the thing to talk about, I have to, I have to, it's an obligation. Please forgive me. This right here is actually live footage of me reading it. It was, it was baffling. Oh, and right here is the moment that I learned that her full name is Lily Blossom Bloom. That was interesting. That was a crazy book to start with. And a crazy way to start a book that's marketed as a romance. Instantly, and I mean instantly, let, let me let me adjust my camera. Instantly, we are talking about conceptually falling off a building. I'm gonna use abbreviations so YouTube doesn't get mad at me. It opens up with SH, continues with DV, and then Ryle straight up harasses her and gets touchy. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Ryle also talks about a kid who shot and killed his brother that night. I don't remember a trigger warning. Do you remember a trigger warning? Henry does not remember a trigger warning. But I will admit, it was actually very easy to read. Like, I can understand why people devour these books. That being said, two stars. And the movie? One star, because Blake Lively's hair is not red. I've also not yet seen the movie, so this rating means nothing. Six of Crows. Let me tell you. Juiced had two problems. The moon and his mustache. I don't think I'm allowed to make fun of Lily Blossom Bloom when we got Juiced over here. Juiced is a lover boy. He's hardworking, determined, and something tells me we will not be getting another Juiced chapter. So I made an exception read chapter two. Come on, it was basically a prologue. Give me this, let me cheat one time, a single time, no more times in this video. So in chapter two, we are introduced to Dirty Hands. Dirty Hands? What is with character names today? This chapter was awesome. Kaz is literally so cool. He's got swagger, he's got class, he's got a cane that can shatter bones. I love a morally flawed character, and Kaz is the epitome of bro, try me. See what happens. I love him. He's amazing. I am wondering though why we haven't seen any crows yet. Like there's supposed to be six of them. So I'm sensing a distinct lack of, of, of crows, which is weird. Kind of unsettling to be honest. Five stars is what I would say if there wasn't a permanent sticker on the cover. And before you say, but that's not Leigh Bardugo's fault. Listen here. She had to sign a contract to let Netflix put that sticker on that book. And I'm not attacking her. She's a great writer. Love this book so far. I'm just saying four stars for the sticker. Fourth wing. Okay, okay, my hands are up. I am guilty of being in love with this book, but I promise to be objective. So we're introduced to Zane Ryerson in chapter one. Five star book, instantly five stars. He gets it, I get it, you get it. All right, next. Once Upon a Broken Heart. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'll talk about Fourth Wing. When I read this for the first time, I was instantly invested. There are so many seeds planted in chapter one that I just needed to see grow. Conscription day? Who's being conscripted for what? Weird hair color? There is no way there's not more to that. Hot older sister who's... I, I probably should have kept that one to myself, actually. And the best part about all of this is the fact that chapter one doesn't even have dragons. It's just good without dragons. Four stars. Well, actually three stars because Violet says bad words and that's, that's a no-no, but... Four stars again because Dane Atos isn't in the entire first chapter at all. Once Upon a Broken Heart. I actually asked Instagram for their favorite books, and a lot of people said this one. This series seems so well loved. So here we are, and yes, I got the pretty UK cover, obviously. I don't want that when I could have this. Right off the bat, I already love this dedication for anyone who has ever made a bad decision because of a broken heart. It just feels wholesome. I was gonna make a joke, but I've only ever been in happy relationships. First of all, when I finally read this series, I'm gonna be listening to the audiobooks. Of course, I'll get my shelf trophies, but I just really love the narrator for this book. She's the same one who read Cinder and Fourth Wing, which were the second and third audiobooks I listened to when I got back into reading. She's a great narrator. Anyways, this chapter was so good, but mostly. I don't like love triangles, and this seems like a crazy love triangle or maybe even a love square, which is worse. I do love how unique this story feels. Like sure, there's an evil stepmother, but everybody's inspired by something. And for some reason, I really like the personification of cards. This is just part of my life unrelated to the book. The Queen of Hearts, the Prince of Hearts, the Prince of Spades. I don't know, I just like that symbolism for some reason. So obviously this book resonates with me. Does that count as bias? Yes. Get over it.
Jax was eating a white apple. That's conceptually so cool on so many levels. Like, how is it white? Is, is this some banicula action going on here? If you don't understand that reference, you were not cool in middle school. Also, Evangeline gets down bad for the prince so fast. Like, let him eat his weird magic apple in peace, girl, damn. Oh, and before I forget, her last name is Fox. I like foxes. The branding on my gaming channel has a fox. Her name is Melon, by the way. Easily a five-star chapter. The Cruel Prince. Chapter one. In fairy, there are no fish sticks, no ketchup, no television. Five stars. What can I say about Harry Potter that hasn't already been said about Harry Potter? Well, now I'm gonna think about it, actually. Have you ever considered that Avada Kavadra is basically just a gun? I mean, it does the same thing, more or less. I have not read Harry Potter in years. I recently rewatched the movies and they were great, but that's not the topic of this video, so. What's even the first line of this series that influenced so many people's lives? Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four Private Drive were proud to say they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. The sass, the attitude. I love it. And the rest of the chapter is pretty good too. I actually read a couple of these chapters on my ASMR channel. It'll be up there, but the YouTube video isn't actually coming out for three days after this one so uh it, it'll it'll be there eventually my only problem with this book is that chapter one is just the prologue it's just all set up but it's literally called chapter one and i already cheated with six of crows and i promised i wouldn't do it again so i'm not allowed to read chapter two what's funny though is i think chapter three has the best hook the escape of the brazilian boa constrictor earned harry his longest ever punishment like, that is profoundly random. It's amazing. We all know the story of Harry Potter, so I'm sure we can all agree when I say one star. Actually, zero stars. They did Harry and Ginny's story dirty in the movies. Like, why would they change that? It was so beautiful. It was so great. All right, that's all for me. And, and yes, I am kidding again. Three stars, because while it's not super hooking, it is very, very charming. I also want to give an honorary mention to Junie Zeely's suggestion on Instagram. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Just want to let you know that I will not be reading this. I have no desire to cry on camera here. That's what my Twitch stream's for. Link below. This production has been brought to you by me. Leave a comment if you want more videos like this. And thanks for all the support on my recent videos. It's so great to see you guys enjoying them. I'll keep pumping them out somehow. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for my daily videos. And I'll see you next time. Deuces.